Just after staff had arrived for work at 8 o'clock, workers in the neighboring building saw smoke coming out from inside the PC Wu building. Cut him, but only not him. Peter Koha, who works in the Horny Brooks yard opposite the building, said the fire could have been put out if the doors had been opened earlier. He took a fire extinguisher to the PC Wu staff soon after the fire began. I'm black seal step ladder, go give him more law. By me black go inside. Me Ronnie go inside office, blah blah blah, me kiss him up. Pass the gusa, no time fire illegally cast so long. Guess, now me black like time, no stop him. No God. Only no beam door, all me black things, and by me black all still. There hasn't been an official explanation as to the cause of the fire. Investigators will have to look into that over the course of the week. This was the scene within half an hour of the start of the fire. Minor explosions caused the flames to spread. Security guard Joseph Unagi was going home when the fire began. He returned to the scene but couldn't do much. When the fire service arrived, they struggled with poor equipment. They were assisted by members of the public. A broken hose held by five men one of the only things holding back the fire's advance towards Papindo. In front, hundreds of people gathered to watch. Stone-throwing opportunists drew the wrath of the police who fired shots into the air to keep them at bay. In September, there was another major fire. The Rebtread headquarters in Leh was gutted in an early morning inferno. This is the second fire incident in a space of seven months, causing millions of kina worth of damage. And this fire has again exposed the difficulties faced by the Papua New Guinea Fire Service in terms of funding, resources and equipment. Scott Wade, National MTV News, Leh.